And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. One of the most popular games that I use in my classroom or with any kind of group of people in a party game setting is Werewolf. I really enjoy the game. It's, it's, it's fun for me to run. It's fun for people to play at school. Kids ask me to play it pretty much every day. We don't, of course, but they, they love it that much that they're always asking about it. Well, I have in my hands here Ultimate Werewolf, the Ultimate Edition from Ted Osbach, designed by Bezier Games. Now, Werewolf technically doesn't need a special set to play. You can play with a set of cards and mark them. For those of you who may not have ever played Werewolf before, you may have heard of the game Mafia, which Werewolf evolved from. And, but so why buy a special edition of this? In fact, this is the ultimate. This is this is not the first edition that Ted has uh, produced of Werewolf. This is the ultimate edition. Well, I'll tell you this. This is hands down by far the best version of Werewolf I've ever seen. I mean, this is what you should buy if you're going to play Werewolf. There's no doubt about it. It's not only, I mean, it doesn't let you play with a huge group of people if you really want to, but it just has so much involved and it's so very incredibly useful. I highly, highly recommend it. And with this version, I think Werewolf will easily break into my top 100 games. One of the best things about Werewolf is the fact that it comes with this rule book in two different languages, English and German. But this, where, this book is just packed. Not only does it talk about all the different roles that come with the game, but it spends several pages just telling you how to best run a game, new tips on how to play the game, uh, what you should do with different groups of people, uh, things that you should avoid, different tricks that you can play, variants. I mean, really, this is just interesting reading in and of, in and of itself. It's really useful. There's 24 pages, and they're packed full of good information. If you want to be a good werewolf moderator, then this book is fantastic. But more so than that, the game comes with just tons of cards. I mean, all these cards, this whole stack here, is werewolves and villagers. That's all you need for the basic game. But there's 11 werewolves here, and there's tons of villagers, and all this can make for a, a really entertaining game. But what makes this set really, you know, to me, interesting is the fact that there is over 30 specific different roles that you can add to the, the group. You have your typical seer, which is in most games, and this one actually includes two, so you could have two if you want it. But you have things that aren't, I haven't seen very many of. The, the troublemaker, the private investigator, the priest. I mean, some of these roles are, are really interesting. I The bodyguard, which is a staple of many werewolf games, can protect other people during the course of a game. The tanner, I haven't ever played with him before. I got this version. He's on his own team. And he wins when he's killed, which makes things really interesting, at least I think. The ghost can write messages to the people who are still alive after he dies, but they can only be one letter. Uh, so that, that's an interesting concept. The pacifist and the idiot, polar opposites. One always votes to keep people alive. The other always votes to kill people. And so, you know, and, and, and there's so much more than that. And I really enjoy how all these different roles, you know, make the game better. In Werewolf, basically, if you haven't played it before, a few players are werewolves, everyone else is villagers. Each night, the werewolves kill a villager who's basically out of the game and cannot talk anymore. Uh, the villagers then, during each day, try to guess who the werewolf is through um, all kinds of communication. They're, the werewolves are lying their eyeballs out, you know, just saying that they're villagers. Finally, everybody votes to lynch somebody. That person is also killed, and then is revealed if they're a werewolf or not. And if all the werewolves are killed, then the villagers win if all the villagers are killed. Or if the villagers and werewolves ever become equal in numbers, then the werewolves win. And so some of these roles help the villagers. Some of the roles help the, the werewolves more. And this game does a really good job of that. If you notice here on your typical villager card, in the corner there is a plus one. That basically tilts the game slightly towards the villagers. So now the villagers have one point. And you'll notice that each werewolf there has a negative six. So basically one werewolf will counter six regular villagers, while other um, different roles in the game will have different abilities. For example, the bodyguard is worth plus three, as you can see there. The seer is worth plus seven, which is one, one of the most useful roles. And this is a really useful thing to me, because what it does is it kind of balances the game out. You can see if you have it balanced for the werewolves, or against them, or if you want to give the werewolves a better shot, you can bounce the game in their favor. There's even alternate werewolves, the wolf cub, who when he's killed, 
Then the werewolves get to kill two people the next night. Or the lone wolf, who's really not even on the werewolf. Well, he's on the werewolf team, but he wants to win by himself. He wants to be the last man standing. And if you're really in the mood for it, they even include several vampires, which can be their own team. The vampires are against everyone else. And there's a few other characters, like the Tanner, who are their own team. But there's just there's so much going on in the game and in, uh, involved. And I really like the amount of roles that I can play hundreds of this, games of this and will never really play the same game twice. Not to mention all these cards allow you, if you want, to play a really gigantic game. Or, even more interesting enough, there's enough here for you to play two or even three separate games with the same deck of cards, and I find that really useful too. There's even a few other cards, like the Moderator, if, you, if you're trying to pick who the Moderator is going to be. The Amulet of Protection, which will keep one person alive. The Mayor, you can vote on who's the Mayor each night. And in the book itself, each role has, some of them have alternate versions, which you can use. And instead of use that version rather than the basic one that everyone's used to. There's so much that you can do. There's so much things that can go back and forth. The artwork on the cards is is pretty good. I mean, it's very well done. Some of it's a little more I don't I don't really know the word for it, a little over the top, I guess, in a sense, but I don't really mind that so much. I I, I think it's very well done. The cards themselves are a good quality and should last for a while. Um, the, everything fits easily in this box, and I'm telling you, this is the really the ultimate werewolf package. Most of it because of how good the book is. The book just is chock full of tips and interesting things. It even comes with this pad here uh, with lots of pages for the moderator so that he can mark down who's what role in case you have a lot of special roles in the game. Or you can mark down, for example, there's a cult leader, and each night he picks one more person to join his cult. Well, you can mark that down, who, who, he's, who he's gotten or who's been killed, all different things. And, of course, there's more you can do. You can go out and beyond this. And some people may say, well, why should I pay for something that you know, I can find for, you know, for free on the Internet? I really recommend this. Not only are the cards well done and easily distributable, but the book is worth its weight alone. And all that combined makes a tremendous package. Werewolf is a really, really fun game. If you've never played it, you owe yourself to try it out. This is the best version. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.